Hello and welcome back to the channel now in this video I'm going to be reading some of the negative comments that people have posted on um, some of Lord Aleem's videos I've got one of the videos here which I need to play and um, and yeah some of the comments <clears throat> I've got right here but I'm not going to read out the names of the people that have posted and instead I've given them random names so let's go ahead and read the first negative comment and this comment is by big burps rubins wait you're not even taking first class i don't own a multi-millions worth of cars and i even take first class laughing face okay mr big burps rubins his multi-millions worth of cars has got nothing to do with his lifestyle okay i'm sure you can afford first class and business class but it's not necessary to be extravagant or to boast about you being on first class and, and whatnot okay i believe his cars are purely for business next comment is by joe potting soil bloom and shine you got all that money and you're taking pia there's nothing wrong with taking pia nothing wrong with taking pia at all yes it may not be you know uh the best airline out there compared with emirates or etihad um but you know you got to represent especially if you're a pakistani and if you're on your way to pakistan you know you got to represent and it feels good taking pia when you're going to pakistan next comment is by wheezy joe quackenbush you really effed up such a fine automobile up by putting these ghetto ASS wheels on such an awesome car he's referring to the Cullinan you further spoiled it up with your ghetto ASS attitude I would not buy a tricycle from an idiot like you okay Mr. Weez Joe Quackenbush I agree with you on the wheels totally agree with you on the wheels I believe the Cullinan should be left standard okay but each their own but what I don't agree with you on is with his attitude Okay, I believe he's be just being a grounded, normal individual. But more importantly, your last sentence doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's incoherent. You said you would not buy a tricycle from him. Lord Aleem is not trying to sell you anything. He's not trying to sell you anything at all. He's just showing you a cullion with some black wheels. That is it. That is it. Okay so uh please make sense next comment is by slaps jefferson who the f gave the title lord be humble or soon you'll be put on your knees sounds like a threat okay now mr slaps jefferson i strongly doubt lord aleem is refer or just aleem is referring to himself as a god okay i highly doubt that um but i do believe he's referring to himself lord as a lord in reference to being a member of peerage okay now the definition of lord is lord is used as a generic term to denote members of the peerage few ranks of peer exist in the united kingdom in descending order these are duke marquess earl viscount and baron the appellation lord is used most often by barons who are rarely addressed by the formal and legal title of baron member of peerage nothing to do with god dr dre lord aleem dr dre isn't a doctor of any sort okay but he's still included doctor in his title lord aleem dr dre you see where things are going and by no means am, am i comparing lord aleem with dr dre of course i'm not doing that I'm just giving you an example the next comment is by Ovaltine Butterbow. <coughs> Excuse me. My God, this guy grates on me with his complete arrogance. Why is he constantly saying thank you to God? God didn't help you get that. You, your rich little dad did. What an idiot. Now look, Mr. Ovaltine, Mr. Ovaltine Butterbow. If you believe in God, which most people do, okay, there's nothing wrong with thanking God. Nothing wrong with thanking God at all. And if you believe in God, you also believe that everything is from God and if you don't believe in God then obviously 
this is what you are going to believe in that's your way of thinking okay and there's nothing wrong with that if you don't believe in god then you don't believe in god each to their own but don't hate on the people who do believe in god next comment is by chewy wool socks all that money on the steering wheel is on the wrong place i'd send it back that'll add to the already ridiculous insurance cover if God existed, he wouldn't allow such a car to exist. It's the work of the devil. Okay, now, Mr. Chewy, wool socks, woolly socks. What has God got anything to do with how a car is, is made? What has God got anything to do with the steering wheel being on, on one side of the car? What has God got anything to do with the insurance cover on a car? Riddle me that. The next comment is by Scott McFadden. Lul, his mother said, share this moment with everyone. Lul, like he would not put the unveiling of his car on social media. Haha, <laughs> what a joke. Okay, Mr. Scott McFadden. As I mentioned earlier, the cars is part of a business plan. It's part of the business plan. And another thing that's part of the business plan is social media. Okay, his social media. YouTube to be exact. And... Um, on social media he has a lot of fans i'm one of them and those fans want to see his cars especially the unveiling part because that's a bit more special so uh yeah there's nothing wrong with unveiling a car that's part of your business plan that's part of your business now i would have taken your comment a little lightly i, I wouldn't have taken it at all um like i wouldn't even mention your comment at all but you added what a joke at the end of it so you're hating basically aren't you you're hating and there's no need for that but anyways that's all for this video i'll be making another video on someone else so uh do subscribe and uh, you know look forward to the next video and i'll see you guys over there take care of yourselves and goodbye